Okay, so here I have a Windows 10 desktop, a decent NVIDIA card in it, and on it I have my uh, Steam. Let's me play, you know, it's kind of a, a launcher basically for all of the Steam games I've bought over the years, which is that you can take the, the Raspberry Pi and load it with a Steam Link application and play all of these games on any TV in the house that has a Raspberry Pi on it. But instead of having your noisy, loud, big computer sitting in your bedroom or behind the TV in your living room or whatever the case is, and be able to essentially stream all of your games onto any TV in beautiful high depth. So here we are in the bedroom, and there's my Raspberry Pi 4. It has uh, the two gigabyte configuration, so I think it was $35. And this Pi is running version of RetroPie and Emulation Station. So I'm running Emulation Station on this Pi 4 on RetroPie. Under the ports portion, it also usually comes with both the Kodi port and the Steam Link port. It should detect the Steam server that I showed you a moment ago that that system does have game streaming enabled. Yeah, it, it detects the other Steam that's on your network. And really, essentially, this is just a streaming server. It's using the video processing from the computer that the Steam is actually using the power of the NVIDIA card. Uh, the uh, newer games uh, will probably stream uh, maybe not as well. I don't play Fortnite and stuff like that. What I can say is that their performance is generally going to be based on the quality of the video card that's in the computer that it's streaming from. Almost no delay that I've been able to find, especially when you're talking about a high-speed Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it's a fairly rapid stream that doesn't have a whole lot of lag. And the performance you see on the desktop that's in the other room, which is, you know, on my system, it's a NVIDIA, slightly older NVIDIA card, but the performance really comes out to be just about the same as on that desktop. And as you can see, I'm making my way through the game here. Uh, a lot of times in this game, you can see things like right there, you see the snow coming down, you see uh, birds flying off, you get a lot of shadowing and anti-aliasing happening here but really this is just game streaming Which in reality this is kind of the future of gaming I think no longer are we gonna have to pay for processors anything like that uh, you'll probably just stream that directly from a game provider this here Bioshock, I'm running as the highest resolution, the most graphic features. This is off of the Pi. This is just off of this little Pi. So here we have this game. You see that it's getting the lens flare. Uh, you know, the, the game is getting nice texturing. One more thing to show you. And I come up to the power button right here. You can come down to uh, the minimize big picture option. I can remote desktop into this and uh, basically do whatever I need to do. But it's really a very neat setup. But yeah, back here at this desktop, it's a pretty neat configuration. Great way to use your Raspberry Pi and be able to game and do a little bit of remote system work. Um, fairly high quality on the system desktop.
and the quality on the gaming is great. So one more thing to do with your pie. Enjoy and subscribe.